In the book, Margaret utterly despises the despot of the North, Mr. Thornton. And since I'm living the book, I guess I can't like the big boss either, but I actually do not like the big boss. I mean, he is rude and condescending and arrogant. God. And what am I hearing about healthcare? I mean, Mr. Jonathan Pritchard thinks that it is cheaper to do away with healthcare and take that assurance from people like Alicia, cheaper to pay the fine? I mean, what is that? And now, now he expects us to go to some fancy party, and I don't want to go to a fancy party with Jonathan Pritchard, and I don't think that Margaret wanted to go to a fancy party with Thornton either. You sound like you're about to flounce off in a flurry of skirts, Scarlet. Maybe I am. You know, that's my dad you're ranting about, right? Well, you don't agree with him. The things he does, you don't agree. I mean, I don't. I don't really think about it, but he's still my dad. Well, I don't like him. I know. And he's very preoccupied with money. I know. But I do like you. I know. So fine. Atta girl. You look beautiful. I like your tie. I like your dress. Aww. <laughs> An outline of man's knowledge of the modern world. This seems very short for such a huge topic. Gender outline. Don't know what that's about. I thought he was kidding. Hey. Look, nope. Look what what I are you doing? Yes, Please put, put it that on. Back. No, put it on. That put one's on mine. That's how can you tell? You can't hide in here forever. <laughs> yes, I can. I don't know how you can stand it out there. I'm talking about taking over different businesses like some sort of legal pirates. What? Legal pirates? Yes, they legally commandeer our different entities mm. and then what? Mm. What do legal pirates look like? Arr Yarg! Arr yo ho, yo ho! No, 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 stop! Check what? the maritime copyright law. I think Disney owns that one. Arr. That mouse. Arr. No one gets on my ship. Arg. My relationship Yarr. with you. Uh. Ah, I get it. Gross. Gross. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that I think they've completely forgotten the entire point of what they're doing. Point of what, Alice? My dad is not an artist. All right, he's not in academia. He's not. He's not you. All right, he has a different mindset. Oh, there you are. I was just discussing a revised plan with a colleague and the next steps for you. He's the head of our LA office. Wonderful guy, Platt of the Greenwich Platts. Anyway, he thinks with a few calls at the office, we just might be able to make your little pitches work. I'm sorry, calls? No, 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 not you. Don't worry, your position is solid. In fact, I've started the hiring process to bring you on full time. After you graduate, of course. <laughs> what? No, no, I mean it. There's, there's something there. I wasn't sure, to be honest, after that first presentation. I thought maybe bringing my son's girlfriend on was a big mistake, but that mm. second one, quite possibly, made Crestview a profitable endeavor and proved me wrong. I just found new books and revisited the plan with Alicia, who was actually No, no, really it was you. Your plan, your mm. intuition, your drive. That's what we're looking for. I want you working here. Well, you know, I... I don't think I did anything that any intern wouldn't have done. I just did what was expected of me, and I have no passion for, you know, the nuances of the publishing industry. Oh, don't say that. Of course, you'll find passion in it. You're very good at it. And I think you don't understand the earning potential here. No, maybe not. But I don't think I want to understand it. I'm offering you a job before you graduate. And I cannot accept it. I'm very grateful for the internship. I mean, I am sure that I will learn a lot, but I have no interest in a permanent job. I mean, not on this side of publishing. I'm sorry, I just don't.